surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> the ship was not parked on the side that I thought. <laughs> on the port side. It was parked on the other side this morning. So much for paying extra for that window view. I should have taken the city view. <laughs> anyway, here's a Ruby Princess waiting for us. Looks like they got the gangway up. Well, they plug in the shore power here, by the way, when when they come in here. Yeah, it's like they're all busy working. That's no, too bad. Well, they got two gangways up. There's one on the other side there. They both go on to the uh, well, there's some people walking off. I guess they haven't started unloading people yet. There's two walking off there. <laughs> Must have just got in. Where do they load the uh, the food and so on? I wonder. see people over there I think waiting to get off <laughs> it's amazing how big these uh, ships are even the medium-sized ones like this one is to walk the length of it. Yeah, I think they're going to be getting off uh, on this in this gangplank here. And I think I, that's one of the dining rooms there. I can see there's people sitting in there, waiting. and so on on this end. You see they're putting nets under the uh, the openings of the food and that are going to go in so they don't drop anything in the water. <laughs> yeah, even a medium-sized ship like this is huge. Well, this is the one we're going to be going to Hawaii in. I think I just figured something out. See over here, they're putting a net under this so that uh, they can load things in that hatchway there. 
Now on this side you've got one gangway and on the other side you've got another gangway so there's no way to get to it from these from what's obvious I guess but I think the way they get food and that into here is through the garage of this building so you can't see the end the openings yet but there must be an opening on this side or openings on this side and the trucks come in unload and then leave I guess It'd be interesting to see yeah Yeah, they must be unloading stuff from underneath here and then use forklift to, so the trucks don't come right up to here. The trucks must be inside underneath this structure, underneath this structure right here. They unload them there and then use forklifts to bring stuff out and load it on. Interesting. Seven thirty, maybe now, and they still haven't started unloading people. I still see them sitting in the dining room there. There's still people in their balconies. Oh well, it's almost eight o'clock, and they still haven't started unloading passengers. So I think I'm going to go have some breakfast. And these guys still working on building that contraption, so... Yeah, I figured out, I mean, that I think all the unloading and staging is done underneath this building, or underneath the structure I'm standing on. And then they use forklifts to take it onto the ship. Okay, I see how they load stuff. They use a crane to lift it up. Like so. And they pick it up there and so everything's being done down below and the this passenger's leaving now actually they've been leaving probably for a while it's nine o'clock now in the morning like the cleaners are the cleaning crews are out cleaning Balconies. There's people leaving. So yeah, I guess we don't start boarding till uh, 11:30. So I got a couple of hours. <coughs> Yeah, I ordered my medallion at home this time and uh, as luck would have it, or my luck, I didn't receive it. Our great post office lost it. Yeah, there's people leaving now, definitely. I'm not sure where you end up when you leave, probably down in the one of the levels below here. Oh, it's one of the parking levels as far as I could tell. <coughs> People putting on their jackets. <laughs> I don't know if they're coming from Hawaii also. I'm not sure where they've been this time. Some of them have jackets on, some of them don't. <laughs> yeah, see 
they're loading down there also from, from underneath. <clears throat> so the staging area must be under this structure here, under the building. And they load everything to the crane. And there's the shore power connection, I believe. That's a short power. Oh, well, certainly helps for pollution, I think, the short power. There's people there getting ready to leave. Oh, well, it's interesting how they've adapted here to for cruise ships. Cruise ships are a big business here in Vancouver, apparently. I, I got some statistics there. I'll show, I'll show in this video. 